Hi, I'm Paul Cutsinger from Amazon, and today we're going to build a conversational experience. It'll be a multi-turn dialogue with Alexa. So the way we start is we go to developer.amazon.com, and we just sign in. Then you'll notice at the top here, there's a link for Alexa. We just click on Alexa, and we're going to choose Alexa Skills Kit. Let's get started. Now in the upper right-hand corner, you'll see add a new skill. We'll do that. And then we're going to make a skill called Plan My Trip. And so we'll put the name in here and the invocation name. So the way to think about the invocation name is you're going to say this to start your experience. So the customer will say something like, Alexa, open Plan My Trip. And that's how it'll go. So our invocation name is Plan My Trip. We hit Save and then next, and that gets us into our interaction model. The interaction model is the UI. It's how you converse with Alexa. So a lot of times you might think about, for a web page, you might think about the colors, the layout, the buttons, so forth. Here you're gonna think about sentences. And so let's click into the Launch Skill Editor Beta. I'll show you how this works. Over on the side here, you'll see intents. There's a few intents. Intents are the things that my skill can do. So in this case, I can cancel, I can get help, I can stop. And for this scenario, we want to add a new one called Plan My Trip. So we'll do Add, and then Plan My Trip. Great. We'll create that intent. And now, we're gonna enter a few utterances. So what's an utterance? An utterance is the things that a person might say to cause the plan my trip intent to go. So for example, I could say things like, I'm going on a trip to uh, Portland, let's say. And then I might say another one that is, I'm leaving on, um, I'm leaving next Tuesday. Okay, so these are all ways that I might start planning my trip. Now, one thing here is I, th I say things like next Tuesday or Portland, and I actually want any date to work, not just next Tuesday. So let's turn that into a slot. So I'm going to select it. I'm going to create a new slot called travel date. And I add that. Notice it puts curly brackets around it. And over here, I've got a new slot that shows up called travel date. The other thing I'll do for Portland is I'll change that to to city. So that's where I'm going. I'm going, I'm going on a trip to Portland or to city. So now I can add a few more of these. I might want to say, uh, I want to travel from Seattle or something like that. So I'm going to say from city to the to city. Now notice I just put the brackets in and just typed it in directly. So you can either highlight a word and convert it into a, a slot or you can um, just put the curly brackets and get going. So I want to travel from city to city. Oh. I want to say on travel date, right? So I get a, lot, a, a wide range of these ways to say this. Now, let's go a little bit further with this. I'm going to do one that says I'm going to take the train to my two city from my from city to go, and I'm gonna do an activity like hiking or something like that. All right, so now I've got a, a variety of information I wanna collect from the user, and then I'll be able to pull that together into whatever experience I wanna build for them. Let's go detail out how these work. So a travel date, it says choose a slot type. So I'm gonna drop that down and from this list, I'm gonna look for date. And there's one, amazon.date. 
and it's going to convert things like next Tuesday or the first Thursday next month or July 15th. It'll convert all those things into a date. So now I can use them in my code. The to city, I also want to use a built-in. So I'm going to use Amazon US city. And then the from city, I'm going to do the same thing, Amazon US city. Oh, here we go. Activity. Activity, that's one that's, I mean, I could look through all these built-ins and see if there's something that makes sense. Um, there's a lot in here, so you should definitely go through and look at all sorts of different kinds of built-ins. Uh, whenever you can use a built-in, please do, because we've done all the training for you. But in this case, there is no activity, so I'm going to go build one for myself. So if we go back over here on the left and look at slot types, I'm going to hit Add. And I'm going to create my slot type called List of Activities. And what I might I do? I might go hiking. I might eat ice cream. And so forth. So now, if I go back to my activity, I can choose that list of activities as the slot type. Great. So now people can say things like, I'm going to take the train to Portland from Seattle to go eat ice cream. Okay, see how that all works? Plugs in there. Great, so that's part one, is I've got some utterances that will get us into this plan my trip intent. But I also have some of these fields that are absolutely mandatory, and I have other fields that really we don't need so much. So let's go through and say which ones are mandatory. If I click on travel date, I can say, is this slot required for, to fulfill the intents? And we say, yes it is, you have to have a travel date. So the question is, how would Alexa prompt for this date. An example of that would be, when are you going? Or, um, when will you leave? Or, when is this trip? So these are all ways to say the date, to collect the date. Now, when the customer hears Alexa say, when is this trip, they're going to respond with something. They'll probably start with something like, just saying the date, and that's it. Or they could say, I'll leave on the travel date. So this is again where I put in a series of these utterances with the slot values. Uh, the other thing I can do here is I can say, I can over answer. So I'll say things like, I'll leave on the travel date and go to the two city. So see, I can actually collect multiple pieces of information in the same um, in the same utterance. The key here is that Alexa is going to ask for these required fields and gather the information for you so you can actually simplify your code quite a bit because you don't need to um, detect if you have these or not yet. Let's go to city. I'm going to do the same thing. The prompts would be like where are you going? And you would put in a variety of prompts. You can see how it would go. Put in four or five. And then we'll do two city. I'm going to the two city. Put in a few examples to gather those. Let's do one more. The from city is also required. And the prompts would be something like uh, Where are you leaving from? And then the utterance would be from city. And you could spell the sentence, I'm leaving from city, so forth. I'm leaving from city and going to Portland, or whatever you might. You can fill out a variety of these utterances to train your data. Now activity, we don't require that one. Okay, so now that I have all of my slots defined, I'm going to test it out. We're going to hit save model, and then we hit build. And so what's happening here is it's taking all this data that I just put together and training our natural language engine. Uh, what we're going to do next is we're going to take this user experience that we've built out right here and we're going to connect it to our backend logic. So while this is building, let me go do that. I'm going to flip over to my Lambda function. So in AWS, I built out a function for planning my trip. And you can go see this in our GitHub repository. And 
use it for yourself. I will copy this ARN for plan my trip. The ARN is the Amazon resource name. So if I copy that and I go back to our skill, as soon as this is done, we'll be able to put these together. I'll click on configuration. And I'm gonna add an endpoint. So here we have the endpoint. I click AWS Lambda ARN, North America, and I paste it into the North America field. And for now, I don't need to change account linking or permissions. Um, these are really for if you want to collect more information from the customer around where to deliver a pizza or something like that, you would do account linking. And then for permissions, uh, that's where you can ask the customer if they would like to give you your address. For this particular skill, that might be kind of cool because you could ask the customer uh, where the address is and then when they say, I want to plan a trip, you could assume the from city is where they currently are. You could pre-fill it for them. So let's hit next. And now we are done. So let's give this a test. Alexa, open plan my trip. Where are you planning to go? Portland. What city are you leaving from? Seattle. When will you start this trip? Next Thursday. This will be fun. You go from Seattle to Portland on April 20th, 2017. Great. So it's working. Let me do one more example for you. Alexa, open plan my trip. Where are you planning to go? I want to go to Portland from Seattle. And when is this trip? August 16th. Oh, I like this trip. You'll go from Seattle to Portland on August 16th, 2017. So notice on that second example, she didn't ask me for the field I'd already given, right? Um, they only prompt for the required fields that are still needed. Okay, great. Well, I, I'm really looking forward to seeing what you build with this. I think getting our skills to be even more engaging and more conversational is really exciting. And hopefully this will help you do that. These are uh, called dialogue directives. And what we did in this case was we used dialogue delegate to delegate that whole process of gathering required slot values to Alexa. Thank you very much. My name is Paul Kutzinger from Amazon, and you can reach me anywhere uh, you like to talk to people. I'm at Paul Kutzinger on Twitter, Twitch, LinkedIn, and so forth. Have a good one.